Shut up! Oh. Airboats! Boats propelled by air and wind. We're in the Everglades, one of the most beautiful parts of the country. Totally appropriate for the Try Guys Dirty Tour. Not the guys from Amazon's Grand Tour Season 2 have challenged us to yet another wacky race, so holy shit, that's a big bug. Previously on the Try Guys Dirty Tour, we race student buggies across the sands of California. Keith grew a terrible beard, Eugene found out he's a dark wizard. I had a miraculous come from behind victory and won the race. And I lost because my duck got away from me. So today we're in the Everglades to find out why here's some British men. We tried to break the water speed record by putting a jet engine in an amphibious car. It's like a car that lays eggs. And now we challenge you, the Try Guys, to go as fast as possible on on water. You probably don't have access to a jet engine or an amphibious car. Yeah, no shit, Richard. But you'll think of something. Good luck. No, we do not have a jet engine, but we got a big fan. A lot of big fans across the world. But today, just a few big fans on the back of our boat. You're right in the middle of the Everglades National Park, one of the most interesting areas in the world and very special. Wow, wow, this is so beautiful. So why do we use airboats and not a propeller boat? Propeller boat's not going to go through this. It's going to get tangled up and none of that. These boats are designed on around one inch of water. It's like a puddle. A puddle, I'm good. Ah! Let's get out there and let's see what kind of fun we can have. Ah! If there's one silver lining here, it's that the dunes are over. Sandy Andy is behind me. So for today, I'm back to being regular old Zach. Oh, what about Fandrew? Yeah, Fandrew. No. Fandrew. 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 I'm gonna crash this thing. Are you guys actually putting on life jackets? Yeah, we gotta yeah. be prepared. We just wanna be life safe. Jacket. Jesse, do they need life jackets? Well, I hope not. Okay, this is your steering over here, okay? You push forward. So okay. forward is, forward is left. Is, no, forward is right. So. It's gonna be a little stiff, but it still moves, so just remember to push it. There you go. What? Yeah. There you go. <laughs> We're gonna ease around that cluster of trees and come back, okay? You want me to uh, pass in port or starboard? And you're gonna go to your starboard. Okay, which one's that? <laughs> Whoa, okay, now we just, just go. the gas let off slow okay when you lift your foot off of it real quick the motor does a quick change plus the fact you have no steering you know what I'm now we're twirling like we're dancing you, what letter grade would i get good. you're running up in about the 60s you got to be able to get your rhythm up and down a little so bit better. 60s a fail so no, not okay. on my book your book's wrong no my book is the one that counts i'm yep. the master of the everglades remember that that's true okay. all right eugene's up we don't need these anymore what yep. come on all right eugene you ready yes Okay, good. All right. Let on, there you go. Okay. Let's go, boys! All right. I feel at one with this place. I also feel strangely energized in a sort of crazy way. Wow. How incredible. See? So fun. Not First bad, boat see? I've ever driven. You did real good. Come in and turn too fast. So I went in too the fast. Turn, your boat slows down uh, and sinks. You lose some see, of that and then power you got to pull yourself back up on top. He's running about 70 right now. I look forward to serving in your Everglades cavalry. A good start. Yes, when we take over the city okay. with skaters. We can do that. Wonderful. Okay. I've never captained a boat. I don't even think I'm very good at kayaking. You move it steady. Don't jerk it real hard or real fast because then you do extreme moves. So that way you do nice steady moves. Don't okay? want anything extreme. Right. Oh my God! got down too slow and then when he started turning he didn't turn the boat the boat just kept going further and further so he didn't drift tight enough okay you're gonna be a little bit above the 65 because you made a couple big mistakes i sure did so you're pretty much the same with fanny is so jesse you're also going with with fanny then yeah we're gonna stay with that right for now i got no one on my team let me show y'all how it's done i'm from florida we're in florida let's do this hey kids there's one speed and that's full throttle how fast will we be going when we're going like top speed? On this boat here, about 40. Whoa! 45. That was terrifying, Ned! <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, Captain. I think I uh, came in a little hot to that turn. Yeah, you came in a little hot. You waited too long to let off of it, and then when you let off of it, you let off too much. I think I need to be a little less full throttle fulmer, a little more nice and steady Ned. I hate to tell you this, but I think Fanny kind of beat you out on that one, so I'm gonna have to give you like a 59. Yeah, no, that's a, that's a Florida F. So you learned on the first yeah. trip and you've seen what your errors were. We'll see how you do on the second trip, okay? <laughs> I started out the 
strongest in our practice run, and then after that I got very distracted by how cool this place is, and I might have turned into a bit of a crazy person. You dick! Well, that was really good. Why were you weaving this all over? As I practiced more and more, by the end of it, I got a two thumbs up from Captain Jesse. Right now, I'm the only one who's shown steady improvement. The beard improves, Keith improves. Play on beard, baby! Scruffy guy. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Let's go. So what is the importance of the Everglades? Everglades has a very unique ecosystem, but it's actually a freshwater river. It's not a swamp. Water moves about one mile per day. This is also all the water supply from Key West to West Palm Beach. <laughs> Jesse, tell me about that ring you got. This was custom made for me about 30 years ago. At one time I used to wrestle alligators for shows and movies and stuff like that. What? Can we touch a gator? Sure, we'll let you hold an alligator. How's that? Let's turn around and show you a little baby gator here, okay? Oh, look at him. There you go. Look at there him. You see how I'm holding with my ring around his neck like that? And hold the tail. Oh, guys, it's happening. He's just a little guy like me, look. You're gonna put your face closer. Yeah, well, he's only got 80 teeth, so he might get about 80 little piercings on there, so. <laughs> I'm sorry, 80? 80. He's... Yeah, okay, I'm gonna let Ned hold him okay. now. Okay, Great. Let me take him here. We'll do a change off like this real good like that, okay? Oh, nope. Aw, he's so cold. Mm -hmm. Oh, he sounds just like my dog. <sighs> what are you doing? Oh, oh my God! Oh, oh. We've got snakes out here that people have turned loose. They were their pets and they got loose out there. People in Florida just like have these crazy fucking pets and they're like, oh no, I can't have this anymore and they just let it loose in the Everglades. Turn it loose in the Everglades and it turns around, survives and reproduces. Oh my goodness, oh. what a weird sensation. He's like He's wet. So slippery. Okay. I caught 24 of them and the easiest way is to just grab a hold of them and then you take a knife and just cut their throat and just feed them to the alligator so the alligator gets nice and fat and healthy. So. You're a real delight at parties, huh? <laughs> Come all the way up here and we can get in the sun like you can see something, all right? Oh, hi. So he's gonna come up here and see us so you get an idea, okay? So when do we start running? Oh! <laughs> Are you kidding me? Oh. Shut the fuck up! What? This is what lives in the Everglades. Where are you going? Wow. Wow. Holy wow. shit. Wow. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wow. Eugene, what are you doing? Now, how do we know that he's not about to turn and attack us? Well, we don't. We just have to watch him. I See hate that answer. They like sweets. One of the favorite sweets is a marshmallow. And you got that white hat on. That's probably their favorite color. We're getting real close. Bye, alligator. Bye, alligator. See you later, alligator. Oh my god, I never get to use that. Oh my That's god. That's amazing. This is so good. So good. Hope we don't see one of those guys tomorrow. It's race day. Here we are, out in the beautiful Everglades. We got a course set up. We found a flooded car dealership to use as our finish line. The race is divided into four parts. Number one, a straightaway in which we go as fast as we can. Second, we have one big turn. It's the turn we've been practicing the whole time. Number three, we have to stop the boat. These boats don't have brakes. We're supposed to then get in the water. So we found some 10-year-olds in the pool and we stole their toys. This is tiny. Get back into the boat and then floor it over the finish line. That is going first, I'm going last. I'm filled with indecision and doubt. This fanny's ready to party. Let's do this. Slow and steady, baby. You know me, I'm a Florida boy. Best turn yet. Go, go, go. Let's go. <laughs> He's too hot. You're gonna have to turn around and go back. Turn around and go back. Ned! 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 Don't! Did he turn the engine off? All right, Ned is trudging through. Uh oh. No need for his body to be all the way in. It's only about two feet deep. <laughs> he can't see because he mucked no, up all the water. Up. I think he's, he's looking for a gator. Go, Ned! Ned! He got it! That's exactly what I would try to eat if I was a gator. All right, use that CrossFit strength. You got it! You did it! This is a great parking job. Should've done this earlier. Uh, it came in a little hot. <laughs> yeah, the 303. 303. So now that I know what they gotta shoot again. Started the race like a gator, ended it like gator bait. Oh my god. I asked it to rain. It's starting to rain. <laughs> I'm hoping my strategy can be to pull up close to the rings and just fish them out. I don't want to get wet. Starting to get a little rain. Did you do this? 
Oh, that is a wide turn for Keith. That's his worst turn yet. All right, he's coming in really steady. I think he's looking for them from the boat. Wow, he, he came in really well, though. He came in well. He needs to be a little further this way, though. He's using a paddle. That that won't work, Keith. He's using a paddle. No way! Oh, no. No. no way! <laughs> Keith! What are you he's doing? He's running Where into the flag. He didn't. Oh, no. <laughs> He hit the flag. Oh, he, oh, he, he really doesn't want to get into the swamp. He don't want to get in the water. Keith, just get out of the boat. It'll be easier. Just get out of the boat and push it. No, he, he wants to stay in the boat. He does not want to get wet at all. You can't be afraid to get wet. This is floating. Despite Eugene's witchcraft, making it rain only during my run, it's stopping now. I think he did okay. He did a point three oh six. You had everything made until you turned around and got into the pole, otherwise you were I know. You know, I, my you accuracy was just too good. When you don't Everglades says you're gonna get wet one way or the other, so <laughs> I decided to give you a little bit from above. Yeah. I am not a witch. I am not a witch. That's exactly what a witch would say. Gene looks way too natural on that boat. He's taking a real wide berth on that turn. Yeah, he's way wide. Oh, 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 yeah! This is hard for me. It's as far away as I was. Oh, What's he doing? Oh, bring the boat, bring the boat. Bring the boat. Bring the boat. Oh, no. Bring the boat. He could have kept, he kept going. Okay, he's looking. He doesn't see him. He's got it. He's got the rings. Gotta get all the way back. Oh, God. Oh, it's so far. No. Back. Come on, engine failure. Yeah. Come on, engine failure. Here he goes. Woo! Go, 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 go. Yeah! I think there was some sort of witchcraft in there. What do you think? Give me an idea. 330, 4, 259. Oh my god! Oh, I, I totally undershot it. I thought it was goner. No, oh, you made up the difference because you found a ring real quick. Right now, I'm uh, potentially right. going to be your Duke of. Potentially, you're going to be the Duke, so you're number one at the moment. Guys, I really can't fuck this up. I don't want to be Fanny forever. All right, here we go. Wish me luck. Oh, man, Zach. Is the boat broken? Why else are they asking for a screwdriver? What do I do? Do I just swim it? I guess you'd call that a Fanny movie. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I tried so hard. I fucked that turn up so bad. Well, I undershot. How do you think you did? I don't know, man. I made a lot of mistakes out there. 236. Wow! Yeah! Fucking fanny! Get my fanny! Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Woo! King of the swamp, baby! Yeah. Yeah. Oh, shit, I felt like a cannonball. <laughs> I can't cannonball. It's not deep enough. <laughs> Woo! I love it here. I love the swamp. Oh, yeah. I messed up a lot today, but not as much as my friends messed up. I feel like I let my state down. I was supposed to have home field advantage. Captain Jesse, the king of the Everglades, was awesome. Uh, I'm really sad that I am not his official duke. The beard is a mask. The beard is just a mask to make me feel more confident than I am. And we have a new leaderboard. Check it out. I am now tied for second with Eugene. If you would please change my name to Zach from Fanny, I would appreciate it. But underneath this thick, ravishing beard, I'm nothing. Nothing but a smooth Fanny. <laughs> Next up, Alaska. Go, go, go! Flash! It's really anyone's game. Why am I still on this plank in the swamp? Everybody's looking at me and laughing! Let me out of this, my feet are hot and I'm tired! Where are you going? Don't go!